So this question is a diagram question. We have this diagram or this picture, this shape provided here. Um, I always like to look at the diagram just to see if there's anything that um, I can figure out immediately just visually. So there are some things that I have that I think I know, but I'm going to read the question first just to make sure before I start filling angle measurements in here without some certainty. So the question says, in isosceles trapezoid ABCD, so first of all, this is a trapezoid. It's an isosceles trapezoid, which means that these side lengths here are equal, and it means that these angles all together here are the same, which would mean, as I had assumed before, but didn't mention, that this is going to be 25, and this is going to be 35. AB is parallel to DC, so put my little parallel symbols in. Now, if they're, if they're parallel, that means that this angle here is 25 because of alternate interior angles here, right? So again, whenever I see parallel, that's just, to me, that's a, a trigger word, a signal word that I should be looking for alternate interior angles, corresponding angles, same side interior, whatever I can, any of those rules that we learned in school about parallel lines and their their angles. Um, it also means that um, it also means that this angle here is 25. Again, for the same reason, alternate interior. And that's all we know. No, so also if this is 60, that means that this angle altogether would have to be 120, which means that this angle here is 95. So this is 95. And that comes from same side interior angles being supplementary, right? So uh, let's use a different color, so red. So this is line is parallel to this line. I'm looking at this as being like a transversal, which means these two angles our same side interior, and which means that those two angles must be supplementary. So we know the bottom angles add up to, uh, what did I say, 60 degrees, so the top angles must add up to 120. So anyway, hopefully that's all clear. Um, and then what else does it say? So it tells us that BDC is 25, so we had already peeped that out, and then BCA is 35, so we'd already checked that out. What is the measure of angle DBC? Okay, so where is DBC? So D and let's use a different color, D, let's use green, D to B to C, perfect, which means we're looking here, so that's 95, All right? So I love to use these diagram questions and kind of like use, think of them as a puzzle, like what, what do I know? What can I figure out? They gave me 25 and 35 and told me that it was isosceles and told me that it's parallel. So what all can I find out? Because typically if I do that, even if it takes 30 seconds or so, um, the answer is just so obvious at the end of it that it was worth the time. And yeah, I found things that I didn't necessarily need um, that or it seems like I didn't need, but indirectly all that information led me to my 95. So it was all worth it.